With a Democrat back in the White House, it is no longer legal to say Merry Christmas again. Which is why I'm reporting live on this war on Christmas from the front line, the mall. The first skirmish of the season occurred when pagan combatants were spotted marauding behind the Estee Lauder counter. I personally overheard several extremists boldly declare a fragrance spritzing jihad on the baby Jesus with battle cries of season's greetings. Such language. I just spotted a groomer in a white beard enticing children to sit on his ample lap. I rebuked him for Christ with the elves. They were surprisingly easy to throw at a pagan stronghold. Pottery barn, Christian commandos lobbed a barrage of peppermint-scented holiday candles to incinerate a deeply offensive cable knit throw depicting a secular idol, Santa, a shameless anagram of Satan, and a fable invented solely to mock the Lord because, unlike Santa, God only decides if you've been naughty or nice after he's killed you. I have an update from Food Court Security Forces moments ago. Secular insurgents invaded Chick-fil-A, launching verbal grenades at those in line. Diners were assaulted by wishes of good cheer, not worded exactly as hungry evangelicals angrily demand in this time of great joy. I can confirm one casualty firsthand. Behind the gift wrap counter at Neiman Marcus, I had specifically requested some festive foil showing Herod's Christmas massacre of babies, not some vaguely scatological Yule log. Okay, I have reports that Christian nationalists were ambushed at a jewelry kiosk with several unprovoked attacks of happy holidays. I don't know if they were blood diamonds this morning, but I can confirm that they are now. I just overheard several shoppers talking about how much they were hoping for a white Christmas. I thought, finally, some godly mega Republicans. Until I realized they were just talking about snow. <sighs> Down, Don Jr., not that kind. <sighs> if we look at a map of the battlefield, you can see that the target was first occupied by a Babylonian sun god. Next. It was invaded by a bunch of silly copycat religions claiming with a straight face that their God had been born on the same day. In fact, such lazy, unoriginal mythology became the hallmark of ancient false faiths until Jesus was born on the very same day. It was a holy coincidence, but something no one knew until the fourth century when Christians invaded and captured the Roman winter solstice, which was celebrated on December 25th. We've tenaciously held the battlefield ever since and are at the ready with a defensive line whenever pesky pagans try to retake their own target. As a Christian commander, I spoke with said, we stole December 25th fair and square. We're not giving it back. Glory. Happy holidays. Did someone just forget to say Merry Christmas? Onward Christian soldiers to Sunglass Hut. <laughs>